What is going on everybody? In this video I'm going to demonstrate two methods to create alligator gar leaders. Uh, before we get started, you know, if you find this video helpful, at the very end you can go ahead and hit like and subscribe for me. Appreciate it. So, one of the big ranging debates on alligator gar leaders is the hooks. You can use treble hooks, which work great, very good hookup ratio. Generally this stays in the fish when you catch them. Uh, so if you're eating them, no big deal. If you're doing a catch and release, this has the potential of getting uh, lodged in its stomach and rupturing its air bladder, and that may cause the fish to die later. The second most common hook people use is a J hook. Uh, you have to do a very hard hook set on that. You have a little, a little less hookup ratio than the treble hook, and probably the third method probably the least used is the giant catfish circle hook you can catch alligator gar with these hookup ratio again is less so the two types of material used generally is steel wire or seven strand cable for either method you are going to need a good pair of wire clippers First we're going to start with the wire. This is the cheapest method and the easiest method. You want to use strong wire. As you can see here, this is rated at 180 pound wire. It is just hard wire. It's very cheap. Uh, no price tag on this one. Very cheap and very easy to use. Let me demonstrate that real quick. Okay. So we'll start the demonstration with the wire and a treble hook. So you want to take your, your wire, your hard wire, cut about three feet, cut about three feet, or I mean, uh, cut about two feet in length. And then you put the wire through the hook, bend it at a 45 degree. Try not to poke yourself. So bend it, cross it over and you make a twist and you twist it and twist it and twist it a few times should start looking kind of like a rope and after you have about four or five of those bend it at a 90 degree and then you start twisting that so it starts looking really tight And then, once you've got about four coils of that, make sure the camera can get this. Should look something similar to this. You take this little tag end and you, you bend it down and back and forth. And it will snap off and you want it to snap off otherwise it's sharp and it's going to poke you there it goes broke off there you go that's that's the hook end and then you would go back to the other end and you would attach to your leader and you just do the same thing 45 degrees twist and this not this is called the haywire twist 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 90 degrees coil it okay break the tag end off There you go guys. That right there is a complete alligator gar wire leader. Just like that. Now the advantage of this is that it's cheap and it's fairly easy. The downside is once this wire kinks, 
once you get it, once you're fighting a fish and it kinks like that, just a little kink like that, it's done. You need to replace it because this has created a weakness. And just like how we broke that tag end off, this will break off. So that's the downside to these. Okay. Let's move that over to the side. Now let's talk about cables and crimps. So this is AFW surf strand 1x7. 1x7 means there is seven individual wires wrapped around that makes one cable. They also sell 7x7 seven seven, which is much thicker and stronger which is seven of these 1x7s wrapped together to make a thick cable. Now again just as the wire was about 180 pounds I have this at 250 pounds so this is much stronger than my wire over there. Uh, again they range in, in strength. So let's just go ahead and pull this out. And it's the same kind of method. You want the uh, about two foot to three foot. Really depends on where you're fishing. If you're fishing really shallow, I mean, you may only want 18 inches. So again, you want to cut this to about, you know, 18 to three feet, basically. It's up to you. It depends on where you're fishing. So the way you crimp a wire. You have to get a crimp. Now this is a number six wire that goes with uh, this strand. It's kind of marked out there, but you can see right there it says AFW sleeve number six. So this is a single barrel. They make double barrels. Honestly, it doesn't matter guys. As long as you have the right barrel for the right wire, it'll hold. It'll be strong enough. Dump that out. So in order to crimp it, you put the the barrel down the wire. All right? I'll just grab our J hook here. And you're on the wire through the hook. It doesn't really matter if you go this way or this way because it's just going to create a loop. I'm going to do this way so I don't poke myself. You bend the cable over and you slide it down the barrel. So now you have two ends of the cable in the little barrel. You cinch that down, get your thumbnail in there. Go ahead and demonstrate this way. You just cinch it down. Doesn't have to be super tight. The, the more room you leave here, if you're using live bait, it lets the bait move a little more. It's up to you. I like to get mine a little tighter. Alright, just like that. And you will need a crimping tool. And you want to crimp. You want to leave just a little on the outside there. Right, I hope you can see that. Just a little so that it creates a lip. And you crimp that down once. You go to the second side, leave a little lip exposed. Crimp that down twice. You want to crimp it hard, guys. So there you go, there's that. And then you would put your swivel on. cinch it down you do the exact same thing now one thing I like to do is I'll put another crimp way down here and I'll put a float on or at least the float stick if you're in heavy weeds you're gonna want this to you're gonna want your bait not to be in the heavy weeds this can be removed And then I would put my swivel, or my my other barrel, and my swivel, and I'd add it into the barrel again. Cinch that down, and crimp it the exact same way. Double crimp. There we go. Now let me show you why I put this float here with a crimp. So I'll bring that crimp down about six inches from my hook. 
and I'll just crimp it. So now that stops my float from going down, but will keep my bait in the air. Now if you get one of these floats with a slit, and pull this up and remove the float if needed and free float it and this won't matter at all if you're free floating this so there you go two easy methods for making alligator guard leaders